Loading tubing. The white bar connector has an arrow on it. Point the arrow down facing the pump, then slide it into the side grooves of the pump. Pull the spring clip knob up and push the bar connector down as far as possible. Rotate to the right when inserted tubing. Once the tubing is in, give the rotor head a full turn to the left so the tubing is even on both sides of the rotor head. Turn the power switch that is located in the rear right hand side of the pump. Spike bolt container with the tubing set. Now you are ready to start programming. Based on your fill volume, select the program by pushing 2 or 8 on the keypad. Filling pump is pre-programmed as follows. At this point, you may prime the line. You're going to press the start function key. Note, this is not a set priming volume. When you verify the tubing is primed, you're going to press the stop function key, followed by abort function key. Connect the medication source. This may vary depending on how your facility receives medication. Connect the male laurel to the elastomeric pump and fill by pressing the start function key. Once full, disconnect the male laurel lock from the elastomeric pump and the process is complete. Calibrate filling pump whenever program or filling device changes. Connect the distal end of the tubing for the device you are going to use, i.e. syringe, bag, or bottle. Press the start button, and after dispensing approximately 70%, press the stop button. Measure the volume that was dispensed. Press the cow key on the right side. Enter the volume that was displayed by using the numeric keypad and follow it by pressing enter. You will then press the quit key. Afterwards, press the resume key to finish filling. No. Whenever quit appears on the screen, you may press the function key beneath it and return to the main menu. Foot switch may be used in lieu of start stop button for dispensing by plugging into the round receptacle located at the rear of the pump. <laughs>